Hi, once again welcome back to Obstetrics and Gynecology videos. In this chapter, we were discussing about the abnormalities of puparium. Today, let us see the difficulties in lactation. The main problems that can affect the lactation or proper breastfeeding include insufficient milk syndrome, retracted nipples, sore nipples, breast encouragement, mastitis, breast abscess and problem with the working woman. We are going to see this condition one by one. In that the first topic is retracted nipple. In this picture you can see the nipple are retracted inward or it is not protruded outside. If you are doing a proper antenatal examination during the antenatal period itself we can identify this problem and we can correct it. We can counsel the mother and we can correct it. During the counseling if the problem is there you can tell her to uh, do a nipple massage and stimulate the nipple and you can tell her to manually you can tell her to pull it out manually that is one method otherwise you can if it is difficult for her by using a 20 ml syringe you can just aspirate it in outward or it will when you are aspirating when you are applying negative pressure automatically the nipple will protrude and it will come outside these are the things you can use in the antenatal period and in case if you are diagnosing it in the postnatal period and if it is difficult for the mother to feed the baby what we can do means we can apply a nipple shield and you can encourage the mother to feed the baby in that way. And even if that is also difficult, you can express the breast milk by using a breast pump and you can feed the baby by using that. And next condition is sore nipple. This is a most common condition and it can occur or it's occurring commonly due to the improper attachment of the baby to the nipples or improper latching. The symptoms include pain you can see the picture over here the symptoms include pain the nipple will be red in color you can see the cracks the area will be bruised bruised and blisters also may form and tenderness also will be there and the treatment of this sore nipple include you can apply linoleum or emollein cream you can allow the air drying and you can apply on breast milk itself that you can, you can apply because it contains immunoglobulins and it helps for the healing. Otherwise, if even after that also, if it is not getting healed, you can encourage the mother to feed the baby by using the nipple shield. And even if that is also not successful, you can allow the mother to express the breast milk and you can feed the baby with the expressed breast milk. Next condition is encouragement. Swelling of the breast. It is due to the stasis of breast milk. And it may occur earlier or it may come even later also. Most commonly you can see it in the first 2-3 days of 2-3 uh, days after the delivery. And it is due to the improper sucking by the baby. And usually if the baby is sucking effectively, it will get resolved. And the symptoms include pain, painful breast, swelling of the breast, warmness of the area. The nip, uh, breast will become hard and rigid and it finally it needs treatment because it will be very painful for the mother and later it may be even if it may become difficult for her to attach the baby to the nipples the treatment include gentle massages you can apply warm compresses over the area and you can express the milk that will give a relief for the mother you can give proper support to the breast and you can give oxytocin this oxytocin may contract the alveoli and it will release the breast milk and you can use the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs also for the treatment. Next condition is mastitis and breast abscess. Usually if the sore nipple or the encouragement of the breast, if you are not treating, that may become worsen and it may produce mastitis and finally it may produce the breast abscess also. The features of the mastitis include pain, fullness of the breast, fever, with or without chills, swelling of the breast, redness over the area and tenderness of the breast. The treatment include you can give broad spectrum antibiotics, you can give anti-inflammatory drugs, give proper breast support and encourage the mother to continue the feeding. And if you are not treating it, if it is neglected, it will become abscess formation. See, you can see the picture of an abscess form, abscess, abscessed breast, mastitis and breast abscess. If it is severe, if the breast abscess is there, means high fever and chillness will be there. Localized swelling, redness, warmness, tenderness and mass formation and fluctuation will be there. And the treatment of the abscess include, you can go for the incision and drainage and supportive therapy, same as like mastitis. And after the condition, once if the condition subsides, you can resume the breastfeeding. 
Next is milk expression. In the case of severe breast engorgement, it will be difficult for the mother to attach the baby to the breast. And in the case of severe mastitis, in the case of severe breast abscess, in those conditions, it will be difficult for the mother to feed the baby. And even if the mother is a working mother, working mother if the mother is supposed to go away from the home, in those cases, the feeding won't be possible at regular intervals. In that case, you can express the breast milk and you can feed the baby with the expressed milk. You can do the manual expression or hand expression. Or you can express the breast milk by using the breast pump. Handheld pumps are there, mechanical pumps are there, cylindrical or battery operated pumps are there and even semi operated pumps are also available. Mechanical and cylindrical pump is safe and it is easy to use and can be sterilized and it is cost effective also. Suction generated by the battery operated pump can be regulated to suit the user. And expressed breast milk is safe at room temperature for 8 hours and in the refriger refrigerator if you are keeping it is safe for 24 hours and if you are keeping it in the freezer at 20 degree it can be used for 3 months. And this is a manual breast pump. And this is a cylindrical breast pump and this is the elect electrical breast pump it works by using the electricity and electrical breast pump is more effective in raising the maternal prolactin level and volumes of the milk and eight times expression can be done in 24 hours two times at night and one time in the early morning including all this eight totally eight uh, eight times you can express the breast milk in a day and you can keep it and this type of expression enhance the breast milk production and pumping both breast simultaneously produces more breast milk so that's why i have told you that the electrical pump is more effective thank you for watching this video we'll be meeting soon with the last video of the abnormalities of the puparium till that bye